Hello. Today we are going to talk about writing uh, numerical expressions that will help us solve difficult problems. So let's take a look at this problem. It says Seth bought a movie ticket, popcorn, and a drink. After the movie, he played four video games that each cost the same. He spent a total of $19. How much did it cost to play each video game? Wow, there's a number of things I got to deal with in this problem. So we're going to kind of work backwards on this. Start from uh, the same place that uh, that Seth may have started with and work through what he did each time. So the first thing I always ask myself is, what am I being asked to find? And what I'm being asked to find is right here. How much did it cost to play each video game? And that's going to be very important, as you'll see as we go on. Okay, so if I want to solve this, I know that Seth started off with $19. He had $19, and then he bought a movie ticket, popcorn, and a drink, which are all represented over here in this chart. So popcorn's $4, drink is $3, ticket was $8. Well, if I need to figure out how much he spent, I know that I'm going to have, going to need the right tool, $4 plus $3 plus $8. All right. And then he played those video games. So I need to find out how much he spent on the video games. He spent a total of $19. Well, I know that what he had left over is whatever the popcorn, drink, and ticket cost my, when we subtract that from 19. So how do I show that? Well, I want to take 19 and subtract 4 plus 3 plus 8. And then because I want to know how much each of those four video games co uh, cost to play, I'm going to have to divide by four. Now, order of operations tells me that in this situation, if all I have is subtraction, addition, and division, I would need to start with this division first. However, we know that that's actually the last thing that he did. It's what he did with the rest of the money that he spent. So I know that if I want to make sure that I do my addition and subtraction before I do my division, then I need to put all of this in parentheses. So now I have, he had started with $19. He took away four plus three plus eight. Oh, but that's not gonna be right, is it? Because four, I'm not adding $3 and $8. I'm actually also subtracting those. So I could either change these to minus symbols or I could put this inside parentheses and then actually make brackets on the outside. Either one of those will work. I hope this video helps you with your homework.